What's up guys, Frank here from The Gear Couch and this video is all about the Universal Audio Apollo Twin and some of their really great high gain amp plugins. But first, some music. Alright, you've made it through the demo song and for those of you who are irritated by the title Everything you'll ever need? Question mark, let me explain what I mean by this. Um, I got my hands on the UAD Apollo Twin some time ago and beforehand I talked to a couple of my friends, all of them guitar players, that had tested it before to, you know, just get, a, get an opinion. And while they told me that they really liked the interface, um, their impression was that most of the M plugins that UAD offers are more focused towards the rock kind of guitar player and not so much for the guy who loves high gain metal sounds. Um, I did some digging and it's actually not the case. UAD offers some really great high gain plugins such as the, the Friedman BE or the uh, Engel uh, Savage 120 and a couple of others as well. So um, I decided that I'm going to record a song only using UAD plugins. So everything you heard in that demo, um, guitars, uh, the bass amp, the effects, um, e the EQs and the compressors that I used on the mixing buses, everything is UAD, except for the drums, obviously. These are courtesy of uh, TuneTrack. But uh, you can record pretty much everything you can produce an entire song only with these uh, plugins and since they're powered through the built-in DSPs um, your computer doesn't have to do anything so I think that's great and it got me thinking that first of all I think the Apollo Twin is going to be my new best travel buddy because if you can record ideas everywhere you are just you just need a laptop and a guitar uh, in that quality, that's great. Um, the other thing that I really like is that in the console, this is their monitoring mixer, um, you have the chance to switch between recording and monitoring, 
which means if you're recording and you have an amp that you really like and you want to record that sound, um, you're gonna record exactly that sound. If you put it on monitoring though, uh, you are going to end up with a DI track in your DAW, which is really great because if you're not 100% sure if you wanna stick with that sound, you can just, you know, put another sound on that, reamp it, so to speak, at a later point. So, uh, now back to the title, everything you'll ever need, question um, mark. I've been thinking from a guitar player's perspective, I mean, I think it applies mostly to guitar players. We buy guitars in all kinds of colors, with maple fretboards, with, tr with tremolo, without tremolo, seven string, eight string, um, and that's all fine. I think guitars are an exception, but we also buy lots of other stuff like amps, amp modelers, the XFX, the Kemper, shit loads of pedals. Um, and maybe for the guy that only records at home and doesn't really, you know, play live on stages that very much or goes out to jam with friends, this is the perfect solution because uh, it's going to economize you a lot of money. Um, it sounds great. Um, and you'll have everything in one box and your computer is not going to have the additional uh, uh, CPU work to do because everything happens in the box. So for the, I'm just going to record at home, um, I'm just going to play at home for pleasure uh, type of guy. I think it's perfect. Now, if you have more questions about the UAD Apollo Twin, and especially when it comes to the high gain sounds or the M simulations, uh, leave me a comment uh, below. Um, I'm happy to answer all your questions since I've really spent some time with it uh, in the past couple of weeks. Uh, if you like what I do and you'd like to see more videos, get notified. You can always hit the subscribe button. I like the thumbs up. Um, and for anything else, just leave a comment. And until the next video, see ya.